Hello everybody and welcome to another brand new video of trying foods and drinks that we've never tried before. Excuse me. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I have done a few shorts, so check out my shorts section. And I did do a video from a trip from a couple of weekends ago when I went to uh, Belper. I went to uh, Belper River Gardens. But other than that, I've not really been doing that much videos on this channel because I've had nothing to record. Uh, not been out much really and um, not been try ain't been able to find any new foods or drinks that I've um, needed to try in but we've got a few now so we're going to get on with them in the future there are some concerts that I'm going to which of course I will upload to this channel as well I won't say what they are right now but you'll find out nearer the time unfortunately one of those concerts has been put back <laughs> but told it was worth it because the people that I'm seeing is doing a very good project at the moment so they pushed the concerts back so nothing wrong with that look forward to see what they're doing so what are we trying today well we've got an assortment of different things I've got these baked Wheatos Giants sweet and spicy flaming hot so sweet and spicy flaming hot what's it the uh, Ghostbusters edition when Ghostbusters only cinemas win prices every hour and you got Slimer there on the cover are you going to call oh, Sam and Dean of course <laughs> um, also we got these nuclear fusion hazardously sour candy I'm always trying to find candy that is sour I got this from an American shop in Mansfield we don't call it candy, we just call it sweets. In America, they call chocolate sweets. Over here, we call it chocolate. Chocolate is chocolate, it's not sweets, it's chocolate. And candy over there, what they call candy, we call sweets. Um, also got this Warheads Sour Green Apple Soda. So we're going to give that a try as well. As well as Apple Cider Refreshers Ice Lolly. I'm going to try that as well. That's still solid. It's good. Um, and also, when I got some uh, stones, and for the first time, if I'm going to try some stones, see that some uh, stones there. Don't know if the camera's picking that up or it's too uh, clear. I picked up a few different stones here. From when I was down at the beach last. Got some like pebbles as well there. Um, got really thick stone here, look at that. Looks like a like a animal, don't it? It's like an animal of its shell that's been fossilized. We'll just put that in back in the um, bag that I collected them in. And of course I've got my water. Not as cold because I'm an idiot and I forgot to put the water in the fridge. I forgot to restock the fridge with the water. So I've got warm water at the moment. <laughs> so, what are we going to try first? Let's try the crisps first. I'm just going to take some um, drink now. Just to clear the palate. As you can see, I am wearing a Coca-Cola t-shirt. That's not all. I've also got Coca-Cola bottoms and Coca-Cola socks. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Coca-Cola, but if Coca-Cola would like to sponsor my videos, they don't even have to pay me. They just can give me free Coke. <laughs> not the one you stick up your nose, no. <laughs> the one you drink. And none of that artificial zero crap, diet crap, none of that. Just pure, normal Coke. I don't like all that artificial crap. They say, yeah, sugar's bad for you, innit? But... Artificial sugar, that's even worse. So all the diet stuff, the zero stuff, the sugar-free stuff, no matter what drink it is, it's all artificial crap that's bad for you. So if you're going to die or get obese, you might as well do it with natural sugars and not the artificial crap. Yeah. So let's get straight to it and go for the first one. Oh, oh, they smell nice, I'll tell you that. 
Oh yeah, I like that. Quite a bit, they're not your normal size what's it's in a big bag. And you do get a fair amount in there as well. The bag's quite full. Unlike Walker's. If this was Walker's crisps. Oh, they are Walker's crisps. <laughs> if they were normal Walker's crisps, they'll probably be down here, wouldn't they? You'd only get that much <laughs> in a bag this size. Because <laughs> you only get half a packet in the Walker's normal crisps. So I'm actually quite surprised. But Walker's crisps. They are quite full. So. Mm. Not too bad. There's a bit of spice at the back of my throat. I don't know where the sweetness is. I can't for any sweetness. Can't feel any sweetness, can't taste any sweetness. Mm, not too bad. Comes going a bit lopsided. I need a new stand. Not, not too bad. Not great, not, not too bad. You do get a bit of a spicy kind of feeling at your back, the back of the throat, but not that much. It's hard to say what the actual taste is. Um, Taste-wise, I'll give it a seven out of 10 for, um, For what it says, because it says sweet and spicy. It's got the spice there a bit, not much. Um, not really got the sweetness. So I'd give it a six out of 10 up if that. So a 6.5 out of 10 overall. So what's next? Let's try the apple cider refresher. And this is from Franco's Ices. I got this in the sweet shop around the corner. So that's where the stick is. I want to do this one because it's been out the freezer for about two or three minutes. So there you go. That's nice. And it don't just taste like an ordinary um, ice lolly. No, apple flavor ice lolly. It does taste like an apple cider. I thought it would taste like, like um, just like apple flavour, but it does have a certain kick to it. Didn't mean to do that. You do get more of a better flavour there as well if you take a bite into it. I've ripped the ingredients, so I can't read... The ingredients uh... so yeah it's not actually got actual cider in it but it doesn't taste like a normal apple flavor lolly if you get what I mean so I'd give that a 8 out of 10 for that I done that. So what should we try next? The nuclear fusion sweets. 
the warhead sour cream and apple or the stones ring me up on my premium number let me know <laughs> vote now <laughs> i should do that shouldn't i I'd do a live one but i don't really want to give my phone number out to um um people i don't know <laughs> maybe i should set up a premium uh, phone line so people can call me live <laughs> make money that way since i can't make money off youtube <laughs> Not until my original videos get a lot, 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 lot more views. Unfortunately, only my Mrs. Brown Boys ones are high on views and comments, and I can't make money of them, obviously, because they're not my content. I'm sharing it for people that have never seen them before. And a lot of people have found it through my channel and become fans. Some of them were fans originally. Some of them found the original ones that I um, posted. So that's good. I'm glad I've helped people. And cheer people up as well. That's always good. I love cheering people up. But unfortunately, because they're the my highest um, viewed videos and um, most videos that I have comments on, I can't make money, obviously. If my original videos that I do have a lot more comments and a lot more likes and views, then I can start making money from YouTube. And of course, I can choose what I monetize as well. So of course, I wouldn't monetize the Mrs. Brown Boy stuff, obviously. I'd only monetize my original videos. So if we can get more likes, comments, and subscriptions, and please. Uh, if you're coming across my video for the first time, check out my playlist. This may be something you don't like, but if you check out my playlist, you might find something you do like. So. Thank you, I do appreciate that. And I do have a Kofi as well, which you'll see my links below, which you can uh, donate five pounds if you want, a one-off five pound payment or a monthly five pound payment. All proceedings will go back into this channel with either buying new foods and drinks that I've never tasted before or going to different places to do different recordings. So let's go and taste some stones. Yeah, let's try, let's try some stones. Because I want to try the soury stuff like, I want to save them to last in case they are really sour, soury and they overpower what I'm eating the stones really. So, this stone uh, looks like a, oh, uh, it's, uh, my friend Hannah, one of my besties, um, who's over in France at the moment. Go check out her channel because she's doing like a little vlog video of a of the views and that over in France that'll be coming up soon so I'll leave a link in the description below you can check out her video her uh, channel she's got loads of other stuff on there as well including clothes hauls vlogs shopping trips and um, makeup tutorials including special ones like Halloween and that um, but she's doing this this um, vlog for a trip to France so yeah, please go check out that, like, comment, subscribe, and of course hit that bell notification to get up to date with all our future content. So yeah, let's try this stone. It looks like a little animal. So like it's got that little feet and it's got a shell on top. It's a weird stone, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I never expected stones to taste so good. Mm. Yeah, that's a good stone. I wonder if all the stones taste that good. <laughs> of course, they're not really stones. <laughs> I don't think anyone believed me anyway. And what I found when I was over in Bell Park in a sweet shop. They're called milk chocolate flavored pebbles. And what they're like, they're, they're kind of like Smarties really, but they do look like stones. I swear they even feel like stones as well. You get them in all different shapes and sizes. All the bags have different shapes and sizes. As you saw that one in some shot I showed you earlier. You can see the chocolate inside there. And My nearest comparison would be like Smarties.
they do look better in real life than what they're showing up on the um, screen. I wonder if I turn my light off. Would that make it better? Now look at that. You can see it a bit better now. See, look, you can get all different shapes and sizes of them. And they taste like Smarties used to. Smarties don't taste as good as they used to for some reason. But they taste better than Smarties. I think they're about £3 a bag. Or £3.50 a bag. But they're, for any locals around Derbyshire, there's a sweet shop in Belpa. If you go to the town centre, go up the hill where all the shops are. And just on the right hand side on the corner before you turn up just up you got the road you got the road that turns off to car up there and on the corner there you've got the sweet shop and that's where i got them from so yeah i'd give them a 10 out of 10. i absolutely enjoyed them they're absolutely really really nice and i do admit i have tried them before i did it on this video so that's not a first um tasting but i couldn't help myself i wanted to try them they look really nice and I was really curious how to learn. I didn't want to wait all this time to do the video. Because I had to wait to get the other stuff as well. So, yeah. it's They are really, really nice. And I do enjoy them. Mm. So. Oh, we're at 17 minutes already. So, of course, Hannah will be happy. Because Hannah always tells me, your videos need to be longer. So, hopefully this is long enough for you, Hannah. Let me know. Um, I could make a joke there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I won't go there. <laughs> uh, this is a kid-friendly video. <laughs> in case anybody's watching. <laughs> so they've got toxic waste. They're the ones who do the toxic waste barrels. Which... I was kind of um, with toxic waste stuff I'm usually quite disappointed so the other ones warheads I don't think that's done by toxic waste no it's not just looking at the ingredients so green apple cider, uh, green apple soda. I was about to say cider then. <laughs> right. How long can you keep one in your mouth? Full toxic head, 60 seconds. Toxic wannabe, 45 seconds. Crybaby, 30 seconds. And total wusses, 15 seconds. I would time on my phone, but... I do make them hard to get into, don't they? <sighs> One second. So here we go. We've got different flavours, which I'll discuss in a minute. Now let's see what this is like. Oh. Oh, that is so... Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is sour. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Mm. Can I do all, all 60 seconds? Well, I've got to 30 seconds. You do get different flavours because it is a fusion. It's disappointing because there's only one... Uh, grape strawberry flavour, which is the one I've got now. Mm -hmm. Then there's raspberry lemon. Then there's banana blueberry. And there's pineapple passion fruit. And there's orange apple. Well, I've done the 60 seconds. Now, initially, it's really good. 
but the sourness seemed to fizzle out at around the 50 second mark. And that's just like any other sweet. Normally with some of these, they start off not that good, but then as you go down, they come, um, they get sour. But this one seems to um, start off quite good. Then it kind of fades out. So, um, yeah. Not really too happy with this one. I thought, I thought it was, oh, this is good one. It's starting really good. But now, it's just like having a boiled sweet. The sourness is gone. I thought, I was hoping the sourness would be there for, will stay there, you know. We need, we need a sour sweet that stays sour all the way through until you finish it. And that's the kind of sour sweet I want. So um, I'm kind of disappointed about that. So it started off good. Didn't really finish off that good. So um, I was going to give it a 9 out of 10. But kind of disappointed. It didn't even make 50 seconds, so... I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So the last thing that we're going to try is the Warhead Sour Green Apple Soda. I'm going to pour that into my Coca-Cola glass. <laughs> I swear I'm not sponsored by them. Not yet. I'm trying to. <laughs> um, I've got a collection of Coca-Cola glasses, actually. All different ones. Some from when McDonald's used to do them with their meals, Olympic ones, World Cup ones. I've even got two from Pizza Express as well. <laughs> and no, I didn't steal them. Uh, on both instances, I asked to buy them. Excuse me. And they just said, yeah, no, you can just take it. You can have it, it's all right. So <laughs> thank you to those staff members from the two different Pizza Expresses, uh, two different Pizza Expresses. Maybe I should go around every Pizza Express and see how many I can get. <laughs> I think I wouldn't have enough room in my cupboards, to be honest. Um, there you go. Well, if I go to any other places that have got Coca-Cola glasses that I haven't got, I might just have to um, do, uh, try and re ask it. If you don't ask, you don't get. What's the worst they can do? So no, so you know, I did get a a new Coca Cola glass in uh, Morrison's, I think it was. I'm just doing these new Coca Cola glasses. So yeah, I have that only a pound. Nicely done. So let's see what this is like. Cheers. Yeah, that was disappointing. There is nothing sour about that. Excuse me. Yeah, there's nothing sour about that. And to be honest, it doesn't even taste like green apple. It doesn't even taste like apple. That's disappointing. No, I don't like the taste of that. Oh. That, that gets a big fat zero. Zero on that is so fat, it's fatter than my stomach. And that's saying something. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So the best thing out of all those was the chocolate pebbles. Although out of the stuff that I hadn't tasted before, <laughs> I have to give it to the uh, 
You have to get it to the Watsits. That is probably the best flavour out of all the ones I've just tried. And yeah, so let's wrap it up, shall we? As I said earlier, link in the description below for Hannah's channel. Um, please go like, comment and subscribe. And hit the bell notification to keep updated with all future content. It's totally free. And please feel free to like, comment and subscribe on this video and all my other videos. And check out the other stuff that I've got. It's all completely free. I do have a link in the description below. That takes you to all my other links. Um, it takes you to my gaming Twitter channel. It takes you to my gaming channel. And it takes you to my Kofi. Which, as I said earlier, you can donate £5 as a one-off. Or £5 every month. And all proceedings will go back into the channel whether it's getting new stuff to try that are a bit more on the expensive side that I can't afford or whether it's to go to save up and go places that well I can do recordings there's quite a few places that I'd love to go you know, I'd love to go down to Cardiff have a check out Cardiff Castle go back to Swansea for the day love that or even for a weekend um, I used to live in Swansea so I'd love to do that well, that time in Swansea, and I never even visited Cardiff Castle. I don't know why. Absolutely stu stupid I am. And there's another castle in Wales that I'd love to check out, and that's Conway Castle. That's just north of Clandindo, and I would love to go visit there as well. And there are a few other castles around the country that I'd love to go visit as well. So, of course, any proceedings will go straight back into the channel. Uh, feel free to like, comment, I already said that, I? but I'll say it again. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get back to the overall future content. It's all completely free to do that. And look at that. Uh, my words mixed up now. Uh, look after yourselves. Take care. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.